Hi, comic book fans, and welcome to another price variance. Um, so Alan and I have decided to do something uh, different um, for the next few weeks. Uh, we have decided to look forward into 2022 at the movies and the TV shows that are coming out in the next 12 months. And uh, we are picking uh, one each for each show um, and talking about it and showing some comics that we think are, um, are interesting related to those uh, those movies or TV shows um, and maybe with some good spec there as well. So you need to go and check Alan's channel where Alan talked about Thor uh, Love and Thunder that comes out next year and I talked about Sandman uh, which is coming out on Netflix in 2022. So for uh, my show, we picked two separate ones and I'm gonna let Alan go first. So we've already seen the trailer for this show. Uh, and this is a, a show that I think is gonna be a great show. Uh, you know, one thing that Marvel does well is comedy. And um, sometimes in a way to its own detriment. Like when they have like this really, really like, like super serious scene and then they'll crack jokes <laughs> and people, it drives people crazy. Um, so I find that Marvel does comedy well, but maybe sometimes not in the best way. <laughs> but with that being said, um, one of the shows that they're coming out with in this, this upcoming year is uh, the Sensational She-Hulk, uh, She-Hulk series so um i like to keep my spec very very obvious you know you go for the things that are you know the most obvious like go for that low-hanging fruit first and then go for the like you know that obscure comic that maybe could be possibly in there so let's keep it first with the most obvious one which is the first appearance of she hulk <laughs> Like, let's just keep it really obvious. So um, the first appearance of She-Hulk is in the Savage She-Hulk. Um, this book has really spiked over the years. When I picked it up, I picked it up for like under $100. Uh, like maybe, I think I paid like 50 bucks, something like that. It was a pretty inexpensive book. Um, now you're looking at a few hundred dollars for the same, maybe in the same grade. Um, it's a book that has gone up a lot. So it's one where um, I still see that there is a little bit of room, not a huge amount of room in this book uh, to go up more. Um, but it, it is one that if you're interested in the series, it's one that right now is the kind of the time to pick up. Uh, there is a bit of a dip right now that we can kind of leverage. And this is the kind of the time, the, probably one of the best times to buy it. Once the show comes out, this book will be, you know, through the roof and it's, it's going to be hard to pick up. So um, definitely one that, um, actually, I would like to put a caveat to that. Um, so a lot of people have been specking on this book. And I know people that have picked up many, many copies of this book because it is such a great spec. One of the things that could happen, and this is like me playing a little bit of crystal ball, is the show comes out, it's popular, everyone loves it. The book goes up, okay? And what happens is then people are like, okay, now is the time in to cash in on my 10, <laughs> 10 copies of She-Hulk. And a whole bunch of people just flood the market with She-Hulk. And that could just kill the price. Um, that could happen. Um, there is that potential because this is like a fairly common book. It's not that rare, believe it or yeah. not. But Alan, you are ignoring something that's going to send okay. that book skyrocketing upwards. Okay. And that is both you and I picked She-Hulk to be on our Avengers team last <laughs> week when we picked our Avengers teams. And we, we have such a huge influence on the market. So yes, exactly. uh, yeah, we brought millions of new people to this uh, book. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's true. I forgot about that. That's, that's a, yeah, that's... A, the price variant element is huge. Um, yes. Um, but yeah, so I think this book, definitely this is the time to buy it. That was my, my point that I'm trying to make. Uh, really good book to get. And, you know, you want to get that first appearance of the key character. So 
that'd be the first one. And that's from 1980. Uh, so nice Bronze Age, Copper Age book. Yeah. Okay, that's a good one. As you know, I, um, I'm keen on She-Hulk as well. Um, I'm going to be talking about Black Adam. So in 2022, we have uh, the first Black Adam movie starring The Rock. And um, it looked great. I mean, he's almost born to play Black Adam. Um, you know, and when you get that fit between how somebody looks and how they talk and a character, I think it's going to be very big. And I also think this is going to be the first of three or four movies um, starring The Rock as Black Adam. So I think Black Adam spec is particularly good because I don't think this is a one movie thing. So, yes, there might be a dip on these after the first movie. But, you know, I think there's another two or three to come. Um, we're back, you know, in this movie, we're not seeing Superman, we're not seeing uh, Shazam, um, you know, so he's definitely going to be fighting Superman in the future. He's definitely going to be fighting Shazam in the future. So there's more films to come. So I think Black Adam's really, really good spec. Now, the first appearance of Black Adam is a Golden Age book. It's by Fawcett Comics. Alan has been trying to get it for ages and he keeps being beat up, beat up. And he, it's one of the, if you ask him one of the things he regrets most, it will be he didn't get Marvel, Marvel family number, whatever it is. Number um, one. First, <laughs> number one. Uh, first appearance of Black Adam. I think it's still on his want list and I'll be surprised if he doesn't manage to get one this year. Right. So um, that's not on my, that's not my first <laughs> comic because I don't have that either. Um, and when I do these things, I always like to have the comic. But this is Black Adam's second appearance. It is uh, Shazam number 28. And this is uh, first appearance of Black Adam in DC Comics. And his second appearance overall after the appearance is Golden Age appearance. Mm -hmm. um, this is this. I bought this comic over a year ago and it's doubled in value since I bought it. Um, I still think this has got a long, long way to go. Um, <clears throat> if you could pick up a nice copy of this, 9092, you've eight five like this. I think this is going to double again um, in the next year, would be my yeah. view. And Easily. in the long term, even more, even more. Double or triple. Yeah. Um, I think, you know, uh, if you're asking me to, you know, pick a solid runner, I don't think there's much more solid runner than this. Mm -hmm. Strangely, that's a really hard book to find. Like, um, like I was all in on um, Black Adam in 2019. Oh, good timing. And so really early on, like, and that's when I was trying to pick up Marvel Family One. Um, that book, uh, the, the 27, right? 28. 28, 28. I always get the numbers mixed up. So 28, um, I was actually, it took me almost a year to find it. Oh, wow. Um, okay. Yeah, so it was it was quite hard to find, even though, you know, it was like just a book that not many people have. And it's not, it's not one that's really commonly found in high grade. So anything above a seven is actually quite rare. Uh, it's quite hard to find, I find. Yeah, I found. yeah, I don't so, think there's a huge number on the census. Yeah. You know, it's so, not one of those in thousands, you know, I think it's in the yeah, hundreds. Yeah, hundreds, yeah. It's a, it, so I think it's a great book for that reason. It's, it's a bit more scarce. Um, the weird thing is it's also his second appearance. Like, you know, the yeah. fact that he was only used once in the golden age, and then it's like 20, 30 years that, that you had to wait for him to come again. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like wow that's a bit of a you know that's a bit of a build-up um so yeah so it's definitely a great book um it's almost like his true first appearance because it's where he's like he's a bit of a different character as well so you yes, know it's yeah it's more of a shazam and you know black adam kind of thing so i think definitely a great character and the other thing is he actually made a show appearance in the 70s, 80s, where there was a cartoon series where Black Adam was in it. Oh, right. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. 
he's like kind of interesting character. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to the movie actually, Black Adam movie, but yeah. So great one, that was really great. <laughs> I really enjoyed that one. Okay, so um, I'm gonna show my second spec uh, for She-Hulk. Um, and it is Sensational She-Hulk number one. Uh, the reason for Sensational She-Hulk number one is it's a book that um, really is more about what the story that will be about in the actual um, TV series. So in Savage She-Hulk, she's like a circus entertainer, like she works in the circus and she's not really, she's not the character that we see in the TV series. In the sensational She-Hulk, she's a lawyer, she's more, and she's more about the comedic side of She-Hulk. Uh, she breaks the, you know, the fourth wall. She's like, this is the kind of one, you know, even like the very first book of this, now is your chance, a second chance. And she's basically saying, you know, destroy all your X-Men because, you know, you didn't, you, you canceled my series. So you, you should get rid of X-Men and should focus on me, you know? Um, so it's really kind of that comedic, uh, comedic thing where they, they, she, you know, makes fun of other Marvel properties. She breaks that fourth wall and she was the first to do it. Not, not Deadpool. It was She-Hulk that did it. And this is really the, the, the comic that will, you know, kind of showcase what the series, the TV series is going to be about. I really hope that they go full out, like on this, where they really go comedy, um, because it could be a great series. Uh, she all was actually a great run. It's, it's really fun to read. It's really silly. Uh, she, she's not afraid of her sexuality. And she's not afraid to say, hey, you're making me very sexual <laughs> looking, you know, she, she actually makes fun of that a lot. So um, I think this is a great book to pick up. And it's one that, as I said, that first appearance has gone kind of pretty pricey. This appearance is still relatively affordable. And it's one that I think you could, should be able to pick up for around $100 raw, I think would be fair price. Yeah. yeah, so that's that, that'd that's be my one. Yeah, I like that, Alan. That's my favourite She-Hulk series. I haven't got that one, and it's on my mm -hmm. shopping list for 2022. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely a good book. Uh, right, so my next Black Adam uh, pick is... Um, it's this. It's uh, This is a much more affordable one, but it's a great cover. Uh, it's uh, DC Comics Presents number 49. Um, and it's got uh, Black Adam um, on the cover fighting Shazam and Superman. So, um, oh, wow. you know, yeah, it's uh, I think this is this is good spec. Uh, you, this is you can pick this up for sort of like about 30, 40 dollars at the moment. Um, but again, like with the first one, I think this will um, this is. You know, I think this dates from yeah. So the the first one I showed dated from seventy seven. This one dates from nineteen eighty two. So it's uh, still a relatively early Black Adam appearance um, and a great cover with Black Adam fighting Shazam and Superman. Uh, as I said, raw high grade. You're talking about forty dollars, something like that. So again, I think this is you know. Over the next five years, we're going to get a number of Black Adam movies. He's definitely going to fight these two at some stage. Um, so I think this is good spec. I actually think there's like a lot of hinting about that situation. Where, you know, at the very end of Shazam, you had that sort of cameo of Superman. So I really do believe that they're going to try to have that tie over, right? You know, like bring you know where they they cross the two um so yeah black adam could be that catalyst yeah you know, where they bring all those um you know dc characters together so yeah that's a great spec uh now i have to go and buy that so that's really annoying <laughs> as always you know you you do these great books and i'm like oh crap now i gotta go, go and buy that so um Hopefully it's not too expensive and I'll- No, it's it a re no it, you can pick a high grade raw up for about 40, 50 and a, and a decent grade slab is probably only cost you $150, something like that. Okay, okay, cool. So, um, okay, so uh, my next She-Hulk is one, like 
you mentioned some really great storybooks in your video, like in like the other part, part A yep. of this of this of this series. Um, and I recommend people watch that because it was really great. Um, this is a good story for She-Hulk. So what I think people, if people gravitate to that humor element of She-Hulk, they will want to pick up her humorous, like kind of key humor uh, books. And one of the most famous uh, ones, and I actually, I'd say this is her pinnacle. This is the pinnacle of She-Hulk in terms of the humor is this one is actually known as the jump rope uh the jump rope comic i don't know it's like um basically she's given no clothes <laughs> just has a newspaper uh and you know the the guy's like telling her to jump skip rope you know uh so, so you know it's like um <laughs> you know it's, and she's like hey hey no you're kidding right <laughs> you know it's like <laughs> so it's it's a very humorous thing. You know, it, it's still PG, believe it or not. Um, but it is kind of, it's a great, it's got that good girl art. I love good girl art. It's, um, it's a really great one. There's another one that I would also recommend that I'm kind of trying to pick up and please don't pick this up until I buy it, <laughs> is the one where she's pregnant. Um, I'm bidding on it right now on eBay. So please, if you're watching this video, please do not bid on it because um, I'm trying to win it and do not bid on it. It's the one where she's pregnant, does the sort of Demi Moore thing, that one I want, and I'll kill you and I'll hunt you down if you bid on it. So um, do not bid on it. But this is the other one that I already have. So you can go wild on this one, okay? But um, this is a really great She-Hulk, okay? So get this one first. Think about the Demi Moore one later. Um, this one first okay <laughs> but definitely a great one definitely yeah good, good i want both of those I, okay i want both of them but i won't go for the pregnant one until after you've got yours <laughs> <laughs> right my third black adam pick is a cover pick and this is from 2021 so it's uh quite recent but it is a fantastic mm -hmm. cover um and it's oh uh, yes it's um Black Adam, Endless Winter Special One. It's the Boss Logic variant That's... cover. I think this is beautiful. Uh, there's Black Adam descending into a snowstorm. It's, it's just a cracking cover. Um, you yeah. know, and not, there are not that many great Black Adam covers out there. Um, now, this, this peak, this, this sort of spiked and it's come back down. Mm -hmm. um, so you can probably you can get i checked on ebay before we recorded this you can get a raw copy of this for about 35 40 dollars well, that's good but you can i actually picked up i actually went and looked for the cgc 9.8 and mm -hmm. i found a cgc 9.8 of this for 150 dollars um so I, i'm afraid i've grabbed that one um oh. and the, the one on my comic shop was at 300 dollars so if mm -hmm. you can get this 9.8 CGC for 150, 160 dollars, I'd grab it. It's a good price. Yeah, um, and again, I don't think you're going to regret it. Um, I, as I said, I think Black Adam is really good spec at the moment, and you know, as Alan has said, now is the time to buy these things because we're yeah. in a, we're in that Christmas dip. Nobody's got any money, <laughs> you know. Um, go on to eBay, and if it's on a if it's on a make a bid, go and make a nice low bid because sometimes people accept it because they want the money. Um, I just picked up a comic at less than half of fair market value by doing that. Um, wow! So yeah, um, there we go. My third Black Adam pick. What was what's the issue number again on that? Just quickly. One. It's. Uh, Black Adam Endless Winter Special number one, but it's the okay. Boss Logic variant. Boss cover. Logic, that's the big thing to search for. Yeah, I heard is, about yes. that book. I heard about that book, and it was one that I wanted actually because it's just it is just a great cover. It's just a amazing. It's cover. just a cover. It's a cover by. It is fantastic looking cover. The and Boss the Logic funny, variant covers are great. Are great, yeah. The funny thing about Black Adam, if you look at his first appearance, he's not on the cover. 
You look at his second appearance, it's him from the, his butt. You know, it's just him swooping up. Um, if you look at yes, correct. if you look at a lot of his appearances, it's always him flying up and you're seeing him from the back. Yeah. It's the weirdest thing. I don't know why Black Adam has the worst cover appearances. And that boss logic one is possibly his greatest cover appearance. So there's an Alex definitely. Ross, there's an Alex Ross cover that I haven't got here. It's all actually on my top 10, my 10 spec picks for December mm -hmm. that I did a video on. You can go and watch it. <laughs> um, uh, Justice Society of America 23 is a great Alex Ross Black Adam cover. Um, mm -hmm. So that, I haven't got that here, but go and check that one out. Cool, cool. So yeah, that's, that's a great spec. Um, okay. So I mentioned, uh, like, I always like to, uh, when I spec, I always like to um, spec on the character, the obvious spec, spec on like maybe a couple side stories that you, just like you did. Um, well, you also have to spec on who the villain is, you, you know, that potential villain. Uh, we already got confirmation. We actually know one of the groups of characters that she's going to be going up against. Uh, and that's the Wrecking Crew uh, for She-Hulk series. It's going to be the Wrecking Crew. Um, and I'm going to actually show you a, a different book. So the weird thing is the Wrecking Crew, which is in Defender 1718, the, those two books are the Wrecking Crew. Um, those books have really spiked. Strangely enough, um, the Wrecker, which is an earlier character, you know, he's sort of like the main guy in the Wrecking Crew. You know, the, the crew is named after him. His first appearance is in Thor 148. Um, this book hasn't seen as much of an increase as the Wrecking Crew has. But he is a character that definitely should be um, specced on. Because uh, not only is he in the She-Hulk series, but he's in the MODOK series. He dies oh, in the MODOK series, and it, it's really, it's hilarious. <laughs> he is like a great character, and the way that they portray him in the MODOK series is hilarious. Um, so this is definitely one that I'd recommend. And I picked it up because of the MODOK series, not because of She-Hulk. But they did say it's going to be in She-Hulk, this character. So I definitely recommend getting the Wrecker's first appearance. So uh, this is Thor 148. Yeah, and well, fortunately, this is another of these where you're going to cost me a lot of money, Alan. It is an expensive <laughs> book, actually. It's not, it's not that cheap. It's, you know, I would say, you know, you can get a mid-grade raw around $50, $60. Okay, all right. Okay, so, you know, it's That's still okay. semi-affordable. Uh, obviously, if it's a higher grade slab, you're looking at hundreds of dollars. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's still semi-affordable, semi-affordable. I wouldn't say it's cheap. It's not a dollar bin, but it's uh, definitely uh, semi-affordable. Okay, so my last uh, my last pick um, on Black Adam, and Alan said there's not a lot of great Black Adam covers because mostly you're looking at his butt. Um, <laughs> this is a really cheap pickup. Um, I picked a few of these up because I think it's good spec. Um, in the Black Adam movie that's coming up, we, he is going to be facing off against Hawkman. Um, and here we have Hawkman 19. Um, and we have um, Black Adam. And you can see his face. Um, and uh, he's fighting Hawkman. Um, wow. So, you know, uh, I think... Uh, you know, and you can pick this up for $5. Um, but I think this has got potential. I think, you know, this is this scene, you know, we will definitely get Hawkman fighting Black Adam in the movie. Mm -hmm. um, so I think, you know, uh, this is, you know, and as a, you know, this is a $5 buy. So you're not risking a lot, but it could, it could take off. Um, yeah, I'll Hawkman be picking does. that one up too. <laughs> I'll be buying that after this. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a nice looking, it's a nice looking cover and there's a good Black Adam uh good black adam pick, pick on it mm -hmm. right comic book fans uh so there we go so uh i hope you've enjoyed uh this edition of the price variance as i said before you need to go and check out alan's channel um where we where we did uh uh for 
Love and Thunder, and we did the Sandman Netflix series. Um, next week, we're going to do a very similar thing, but we're going to pick four different upcoming TV shows and movies and do the same thing, show some great comics, potential spec comics. Um, so tune in next Monday for that show and um, Happy New Year. Happy New Year.